so before and after the rubbing compound is on and uh, this is before you can tell a difference just how chalked out the paint is but we brought this thing down here to my uncle's shop where it's warm because we're waxing it and we got down here and we knew the tires were getting bad on it and just like right there and the back door actually blew on us we've got sidewall crack there and then you know we lost all of our air there so we've got eight new michelin tires coming for it so i don't know when they'll be here but i was kind of disappointed that we didn't get the rest of our tread life out of them but and fire stones aren't known for cracking so i'd think it was too low a pressure for too long we've we've been checking them but i don't know how it was done before we got it so tomorrow we're gonna hopefully tim will get some or sally 1966 is who's doing it hopefully he'll get some more rubbing compound on it and then we'll be down here to help him some but he'll do a good job at it he's pretty much the one in charge we're over at the uh, other farm this morning we brought that corn head over that we got finished up and got to put out a bale of hay but we've fed enough hay now that i can put the backhoe in the bay of the machine shed that we're pulling hay out of and get it mostly and then we'll build back the corn head in here and get it in so Hopefully this morning before the sun gets on it and this whole thing gets muddy out here since there's no stone, we can get it backed in here without getting too frustrated and sliding around in the mud and all that fun stuff. So we get this started and back it out, let it warm up before we feed and try to get that corn head backed in here. It feels really nice today. It's windy, but it's in, already in the 40s. So we've only got a handful of hay left in this bay and then once we get it empty we'll be able to get the backhoe completely in which it's not hanging out by much we've got a little bit of hay over on the other side of the bank barn but we're gonna be cutting it close on hay which we've got some two-year-old big square bales left over so it'll be good to get all of our old stuff used up before we start stacking new in front of it again but we're gonna take off and we're gonna get down to my uncle's shop where we're gonna be buffing the 275 uh, i think i did a little video on that already that i'll throw in here maybe i didn't so head down there now. hey guys we're back at the back huh? the guy that was uh going to do the buffing on the tractor he's been busy with his work so i don't know if he was coming today so until we know for that we've got that one pasture we logged that's got a bunch of treetops on it and i need to get them pushed up before uh the ground falls or the snow melts and the ground starts getting muddy because i don't want them treetops to lay there and a bunch of briars grow up through them and hopefully get them pushed up in piles we'll be able to put some fertilizer on the pasture so we're going to take back up and start doing that for a while hill and are sliding sideways on it.
start over because that isn't working. This thing's about a joke right now. for this. I doubt I can get back up there now. We'll try. This thing's about a freaking joke. This 275, it's getting a new wax job. And we buffed the hood, and I guess this is the last time we can buff it because the paint is so junk on this that it won't hold up. Well, on top of waxing it, we're also putting 8 new tires on it because I had a dual blow. On the way down here, it's got several sidewall cracks in it. The berm tires shot on it. Got a sidewall split there, there, 
We got five five of the tires are junk on this thing, so we'll put, I've got eight new Michelin's ordered, so we're gonna put them on while it's here. And I'm not sure what's going on with the fuel pump on this. They make a uh, update kit for them, but I guess it's only for the Magnums because this, when you put it in gear, it throttles up. It's got to do that to get the transmission to engage and putting a mechanical pump on it, it won't be timed right to do that. So I don't know if we can or not, but as soon as he gets done buffing it, we're going to get ready to uh, wax it or wash it again. Then we'll get ready to wax it. But like the case paint is junk. Get up here and show you. Like if you look right here at these louvers, the paint's wearing through and a little bit on the corners of the hoods. I, I don't know what their deal with paint is. 